In this video, I'm going to share my experience of how I was got arrested flying a drone in the Greater Accra region and some of the things that you should know when you want to fly a drone in Ghana. And this is coming up. Whoa! Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I'm. Hi, everybody, Innocent here, and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So as you may have known, I've been flying drones for the past one year and then I have a couple of them on my channel if you want to check it out. But this time around, I was in the Greater Accra, that is the capital of Ghana. And then I wanted, I wanted to take some drone footage of the city. And then I almost got apprehended. This is how it all started. So first of all, the place that I was trying to shoot the video was a security zone. And if you've been in Ghana before, you know that the Independence Square and then the Black Star um, the Independence Arc and the Black Star Square, that place is a security zone because the ministries are just closed behind and then you have the castles and all that around. So I was there and I wanted to take a drone footage. So I went there and then when I got to the place, I know that that place is an open place because there are no entrance gates or a security asking for tickets or anything like that. So I knew or I thought that it was a very safe place or it was a very free and open place to shoot videos and pictures. Now, I must admit the fact that the place is a security zone because it is closer to the ministries and then the castle and the sports stadium. So I thought of it, but because it is an open place, I thought it was okay for me to fly the drone over there. So when I got to the place, I don't really like flying drones in public because the moment you pull out the drone, people will come to you and be asking for questions like, how much did you buy it? This is so cute and all those questions. So if you've been to the Independence Square before, you know that there are some stands or seats available for you that you can go and take some rest, you can go and sit down if you came for a tour or something like that. So I went to the stand, I went deep inside or let's say I went inside and then I tried to fly the drone from there. So I placed my drone in the very open space and then I went inside the stand to fly the drone. In the beginning, everything looked fine. I was just flying the drone, everything was going on well and there was no security around. Although I had seen a couple of police guys going towards the seashore, but I thought that they were around the seashore and that they are not going to like do anything to me. So I was in air for about 25 minutes and the DJI Mini 2 has a battery life of 30 minutes per battery. So I just wanted to take like one battery to cover because the place is not that big. Okay. So I was in air for about 25 minutes moving from this side, getting all the angle shots that I needed. Now, after the 25 minutes, I realized that the battery was draining down and then I needed to return the drone to the home. Not knowing the securities at that place has been spying the drone for the number of minutes that I was. So they were there and then their eyes were just up like that, tracing exactly where the drone is coming from. Remember I said the place is a security zone, so they might think or they, they take security very serious. And you know drones can be used for spying and all those things. So I decided to land the drone and then it came out very nice. Everything was okay. The drone came down and as I came out of the stands to pick up the drone, fold it and then put it in my bag, I realized that one guy was coming very fast at me. I think he figured I would run or something like that. So when he saw me putting the drone in the bag, he just quickly started running towards me. And when I lifted my head, I realized that he was a security because he had his badge here and I think he had a gun on him as well. So I just stood still, remained calm and then he just came at me and he was like, put the drone in a bag and then give it to me. And I was like, whoa. But at that point, I didn't want to just say anything because I was already scared. So what I did was I just listened to him as he instructed and then I put the drone in the bag and gave it to him. Now, when he took the bag, he just turned around and then decided to head to the office. And I had nothing to say than to follow him. Fast forward, he got to the office. It wasn't actually an office. It was, um, inside the independence square like the place that the securities had been sitting i didn't know as at then so i followed him there and then the question that he asked me was what information are you picking and i was like no i'm not picking any information i'm just trying to fly around and show the beauty of ghana to the people nothing so much 
And he asked me, why then did you have to go to the security? So let me give you a perspective. The Independence Square is situated, let's say this place. So in order to get the facial of it or the front face of it, I needed to take the drone back to somewhere around the ministry so that I can fly in. So when he saw the drone go into that place, he actually thought that I picked up some information at the ministries. And that was the main point of coming for me and then taking the drone. So I tried to explain things to him that I did not come for any information. And then he asked a couple of questions about me, where I'm from. And then he realized that I'm Ghanaian and then I've been making YouTube videos. So I went ahead to show some of the drone footages that I've taken about Ghana. I showed it to him and then I was lucky enough that one guy could understand. So there were four security guys and then three of them were very angry and mad at me for not seeking for permission to fly the drone. And there was only one guy that actually talked to me in a very nice way. He was like, okay, after all that I've shown to him, he's realized that I'm not doing anything bad. What I'm doing is actually good. But then the process or the procedure was wrong. So I accepted my faults, my mistakes, and then I apologized. And then he said that, okay, they are going to give the drone to me, but then I would have to delete the footages. Yeah. So at that point, I realized that it is even better for me to lose the footages than going to like a prison or getting arrested or going to jail for like a day or so. So I figured it was better to lose the footages than to go to jail or something like that. So they made me delete the footage, all of them. And then I later on, when they realized that I, it's true what I'm saying, that I've been taking videos of Ghana and all that, they decided it was okay for me to go. But then you know how it is done we don't go like that so i had to settle them with a fee a small fee or some small amount just so they would give the drone back to me and then i'll leave at that point i was so scared i thought maybe i was going to go to jail or something like that because it was scary and that my drone is the dji mini 2 it is 249 grams it doesn't actually like you don't need to actually register it though you need some drone license I don't need to actually register it before you can fly so if you are flying for recreational and not commercial you can some way somehow use it but my fault was that i flew at a security zone so did i learn anything of course i learned so many things from all that transpired the first thing is anytime you're at a place and you're not so sure of what to do although i thought that since people have been coming to shoot videos pictures and all that it was free to shoot i've learned that anytime you get to a place and you are not so sure the first thing you need to do is at least go around and ask even for people or from people around that area because they might have encountered certain things or something like that and they can advise you on what to do and the second thing is don't fly at security zones i know we have restricted zones like around the airport or around the military or anything like that for such places when you try to fly drones they are going to or you're going to receive a notification that this is a restricted zone but that place i didn't have anything like that but it was a security zone so point number two that you have to take note is never fly at security zones unless you have permissions yeah so that was it that was basically what transpired between me and the security guard and finally i didn't get arrested and i didn't go to jail but I hope you've learned something from this video and the next time you're in Ghana and you're trying to fly drone around any place, leave me you. You have to be extra careful and be mindful of where you are flying the drones. Yeah, so I hope this video was helpful if it was and if you want to see more videos like this, you might want to check out my drone videos and let me know in the comment section what you all think. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video. My camera lady is almost getting tired and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's innocent here and bye.